Hi, um, you may have seen my first video where I spoke about the fish in the mirror that um, came out of a photograph after I painted this when my mum was in hospital and what happened is she did come out of the coma and the doctors were quite annoyed at us because we were going to get the garage converted because she decided she wanted to come and live with us and they said look you know she's not going to live for very long at all for what she's been through and in fact she lived for another six years and five and a half of those were really really healthy uh, partly because I was controlling what she was eating and really looking after her not that she showed much appreciation um, it was vegetarian muck or muck on a truck she used to call it but it kept her alive and it was interesting to see the downfall where I withdrew slightly uh, when I found out I was pregnant um, partly because she could be quite vitriolic and I knowing my mom I thought she would be saying oh you're having a bastard because I hadn't got round to getting married which I have recently after 19 years of dating which I could put up with that but I just didn't know what nastiness that she'd come out with so I sort of protected myself and I never actually told her until I was five and a half months gone um, wearing lots of baggy tops and, and stuff even though she was living with us and the interesting thing was I bumped into her the one day in Erdington and I'd gone there because the photographs that I've got sort of lost themselves for um, a couple of years and when I found them I thought I know I'm going to get them blown up by uh, Max Spielman so that I can't actually lose something with frames and the weird thing was I knew my mum would be in Erdington but she'd be the top end of the the street because she goes to the church and she has a meal on the Thursday and I'd just come out of Max Spielman which was totally the other end of the high street to see my mum walking out of the chip shop opposite and carrying this rather large fish. And I said, well, what are you doing? I thought, thought you've already had your meal. And she says, well, it's not big enough. You know, I've only got a small fish. Well, it wasn't, <laughs> I tell you it wasn't. And it wasn't until I got home that I realized the irony of it. There I am getting a photograph of the fish on the mirror, seeing my mom coming out of the fish shop carrying a fish. So, you know, I think we are guided on some way um, and, when we know this, it helps us to feel at peace in our environment and know that we're guided and that we're meant to be here. And I love the saying that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And one of the things I really, really wanted to do was when I recorded my uh, recording spontaneous remission from any disease in mind and body, was to get it out to as many people as possible because it plants the seed of a miracle happening no matter where you are at the moment and what's happening in your life, wouldn't it be great to multitask by taking time out to just relax and to hear my voice go with you to plant the suggestions that if a miracle was to happen, what would it look like? What would it sound like? How would it feel? And it's working because if you go on my website, if you click the link, you'll see some of the videos of people and some of the testimonials of some of the miracles that have happened already. And it's great talking to you today. Bye now.